back at the Bayside Historic Society's Winter Art Show, here now with Terry Will, one of our favorite people, a wonderful woman, and, uh, and has this wonderful dog, and we've seen her in other shows, and she's here all the time at the Bayside Historic Society's Art Show. Last year, she won an honorable mention. This year, she won Best Photo Award, and it's for this, and it's really great work. And uh, Terry, it's always fun to talk to you and to see you, and congratulations on, on winning your award. Thank you very much. So it's, um, tell us about the, the photograph or photographs. Okay, well, it's uh, what they call a triptych where it's uh, three separate photos that make one. And at least that's my definition of it. And what it was is, it is three, uh, three separate photographs. Each one, the, the photo itself is called Skylights. And they're actually pictures of the skylights at my parents' house upstate. And... And I was, I was there, and it was raining out, and I happened to look up, and I just thought it looked really cool. So I took a picture of each of the skylights, and when I got home, I, I went back and forth whether to keep them as uh, three separate photos, but I, I liked the way it looked when, uh, you know, because you can see one, one branch goes to the neck, you know, into the next frame. These two go here, whatever. This is part of this branch. So it all continues. So it's three separate photographs. Correct. Because you're right, they, they all blend in really nicely. Yeah. Love the texture. You can see like the water drops here, and uh, these things dripping here. It, uh, it gives it a really lovely texture to it. And you want black and white, huh? No, actually, it's, co it's color. It's, it's color? It, it just, yes, it just it looked black and white. Yeah. But okay. I, I, I did not, I didn't alterate it. I didn't use black and white film. I didn't, or, or make it black and white. Um, in the computer. So it looks like it's spring, like things are starting to mm -hmm. sprout there. So hence, there's not much color because it, the color hasn't bloomed yet. Correct. And and uh, and um, uh, there's a cost to your photographs, and it looks like a very modest cost too. Uh, well, this one I priced at for uh, four hundred dollars. The, uh, the the framing itself was over three. <laughs> So, you know, I got to make a little profit. Yeah. <laughs> and, now, and we'll give them a little plug. Where did you have it framed? I got it framed as well as all, all of my uh, photos. Uh, I get framed at Aaron Brothers, uh, which is part of Michael's in Fresh Meadows. Mm -hmm. And ask for Natalie. <laughs> all right, well, ask for Natalie. And, um, and the title of the skylight, obviously, because you're getting it through your skylight. Uh, mm -hmm. And I've seen a lot of your other photographs. Um, this, you got two photographs in this exhibit. They limited you here, yeah. but sometimes you've had more. Tell us about how many photographs you have, how many have you taken, and how many you get to show in different places. Well, I, I can't count how many I've taken, because uh, I've been doing this for a very, very long time. Mm. Uh, but as far as showing, uh, the most I've shown here was when we had the, uh, the Bayside pop-up show, and I had 12 or 13 on display then, because th there was no limit. 13, yeah. But then, uh, see, I started showing here at the uh, the Winter Art Show, and there's a uh, two-photo limit here, and that's been a few years, or whatever, so uh, two each time, and it's always going to be two different photos. And then I, had, I was in a veterans uh, art show up in Hyde Park at the, uh, the Rose Roosevelt, uh, uh, the Roosevelt Estate, uh, FDR. Nice. In Hyde, yeah. So that was That's really a great nice. setting. I've been out there. It's gorgeous. Isn't it? Yeah. And I was allowed to show t uh, two pieces. Mm. Two. No, three. Three pieces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, um, and how do you, you told me something before when we did the interview where my head was cut off. We had to redo this again. But, uh, so you told me something before about um, how you choose what pictures you're going to show. Uh, normally in the past, the way I did it was I would post the ones that I was thinking about on my personal Facebook page and ask my friends to, uh, to, put, them in, to put them in order uh, as to uh, which ones they liked the most. Yeah. Uh, th this time I didn't give anybody a choice. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I stuck with a theme. I had uh, this, this one here, the skylights, and then I also have uh, my other photo, uh, Moonroof, which was also uh, trees in the rain. Mm -hmm. What did, what did you win the honorable mention for? That was last year, and that was a stroll in the afternoon park I took at um, Oakland Park. 
Uh, there's a couple walking off into uh, the afternoon sun with the, um, and a park bench was in the foreground. Are all of your pictures outdoor na nature shots? Uh, they're not all nature shots, but, they're, but they'll, they'll be outdoors yeah. most of the time. Yeah. Do you have a lot of pictures of your dog? Yes. <laughs> he, he actually won the first, the first time I won here. Really? Yes. Really? And, and Terry has this really lovely little dog. And um, tell us about your dog. Maybe we'll put a picture in the end. Well, he's, he's not that little. He's uh, 65 pounds. He's, uh, I guess you consider medium size. Yeah. He's part yellow lab and either uh, shepherd or husky. <laughs> and uh, he, he's just a lot of fun. Yeah. Very well traveled. And well. I can take him almost anywhere. And the subject of, a, of, of photographs that you submit. That's wonderful. Listen, thank you so much. It's always wonderful interviewing you and seeing you. And uh, congratulations. This is a great Best Photography Award. Thank you very much. See you later.